Hello and welcome everyone, this is Victor's Wagon 360 and today I'm going to be telling you a little trick on how to import your very own custom made model into the Unreal Engine 4 as a physics asset. And uh, to start we well, need to actually make the 3D model, so let's go to Sculptress and like make the simple uh, shape out of a uh, sphere like something like this yeah. distinguishable shape so that we can have it uh, recognizable <laughs> yeah something like that nothing too big and yeah something with ears like this and with eyes and a little smile yeah should be enough like a little monster a little uh, creature of some sort then we obviously give it some sort of material let it build doesn't really matter uh, like what color you painted so her uh, Changeable in Unreal Engine 4, all the materials and stuff. So, I just paint it normal white color, nice and simple. Don't use much uh, memory when saving, like exporting the file. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And now I export it as test creature and save it as the object file which is what we'll need for Unreal Engine 4 meanwhile let's uh, launch the 4.9.2 version of Unreal Editor and yeah we'll close down Sculptress to make the process go a bit faster yeah we'll create new project say third person keep the settings normal like with starter content as well just in case and uh, call the project like physics test one and we click create project while it's building we'll close down sculptures thank you and meanwhile we'll go to folder that actually uh, has the uh, file yep here we go that's the actual project loaded now we go to content in content browser the root folder for everything basically and uh, we have our file here uh, test creature and we drag the file to the unreal editor on the taskbar at the bottom and we drop it off at the content browser when the window like this pops up we just uh, say import all and uh, we wait for it to import and once it's done it's done really it may take a few minutes it may take a few seconds uh, you just have to wait through the process a bit Uh, while we're waiting, you can see the file size is just under 2 megabytes, so shouldn't take very long. Uh, 
and it might be frozen. Even. And no, it actually did it uh, eventually. I guess like it just froze because the recording was going on. <laughs> so it took a bit longer than a minute. But yeah, it has a few warnings here and there. So uh, for now, we just need to ignore them. No serious errors like here or there. So we just close it down. And uh, we have our test creature uh, uh, object here and material for it right here. We just need to drag the object from the content browser into the game. As you can see, it's right here. You can lift it up, move it around, you can enlarge it with the scale tools if you want to. And uh, you should increase in size if you do it with the cursor. So here, the object is now in game, and if we right click and play from here, it will not move obviously because we haven't given it any physical behavior. So what do we do? We we'll left click on it, scroll down through the properties look for physics and click simulate physics so you can set the custom mass in kilograms by ticking this box but I'm just gonna go with what it says here and uh, it will automatically decide the size for it so now if we right click uh, somewhere in the level and go play from here it will actually obey the physics rules so you now got yourself a little football creature and hey look it's actually behaving just like it should be. So, yeah. You got yourself a little football game in less than 50 minutes. Yeah. That was a little trick uh, to be used in Unreal Engine 4 by Victus Wagon 360. I hope you enjoyed it and good luck in your games. Victus Wagon 360. Uh